Hi everyone, this is Terry. Last week I purchased a Luminaire and there was a bundle of, uh, that came with the machine that included PE Design 11. I've used PE Design many years ago, but I also own Bernina machines, so I use the Bernina software and I'm fairly proficient in it. I am not proficient in PE Design uh, 11 and I hope to become better but this is the first of a series of videos that I will be recording and I hope it helps you the first thing when you open your software you should see this screen that has a wizard and you can do several things from this screen I'm going to close the wizard because I have a couple of things to show you right here you see the hoop and on the hoop if you click it it will open up this box and this is where you tell the software whether you have a single needle machine or a multi needle machine and you can select the hoop size for your design page I want to leave it at nine and a half by nine and a half you can also change the background color of the, uh, of the uh, screen and uh, the background color of the page I want to leave it on white for this exercise now there are many designs that are built into the software and what you can do is you can choose where you want to import your designs from. I want to choose from the design library that's built into the software and I also want to choose from animals. Let's just go ahead and select this elk or uh, maybe it's an antelope. And when it, it comes up on your screen, you'll notice that there is a box around it. From this box, you can grab one of the corners and you can make the design larger proportionally by dragging the handles. You can also rotate the design by clicking on the red circle. I want to choose undo and I will leave the design like this. Now what I want to do is go into background fills and in the background fills I have a choice of echo, sippling, decorative fills. This should look familiar to you because if, if particularly if you own a dream machine or you own a luminaire. Let's click on echo fill and now let's click the background and choose next. In our machine there is one type of background fill and that is the echo and let's choose update preview and this is at what the fill looks like um, you can change it to running stitch or another stitch and if you want to see what echo clip looks like let's update it and this is the echo and actually I think this is the one that's in the machine I, I, like I said I picked my, my machine up it hasn't even been a week ago so I don't remember uh, which of the two is built into the machine but you can change several things on the sc screen you can change the offset you can change the stitch type between a running triple or a chain stitch and there are two chain stitches like on the triple stitch you can actually change um, the run pitch which means uh, stitch length and you can do the same on the um, regular running stitch let's go back to previous and let's choose stipple and now let's choose next And this should look familiar as well. Run pitch, it, uh, I should be in millimeters because I really don't know stitch lengths in inches. But let's change the spacing of this to 0.35 or 0.30 and choose update preview. And you can see that you now have a, a larger sipple. Let's uh, change it to 0.5 just to see what that looks like and choose update preview 
And this would probably look like something that you would stipple if you were doing a free motion. That looks nice. Let's choose previous. Now let's go to decorative fill. And again, because I have the crosshatch in the background, I can choose next. And this should look very familiar to those of you who have a, a dream machine or a luminaire. When you open this folder, you'll notice several decorative patterns. And these decorative patterns are patterns, many of which are, are built into the machine. You'll notice that it goes to 54, and I created my own pattern as well. And I'll show you that in a separate video. Let's just uh, choose one of the designs, and we'll choose this one and click OK. And now you can see what this would look like with the decorative fill. Let's make that larger. And update the preview. And if I'm satisfied with this, I can choose OK. And when I return to this menu and I want to save it, I have two, two ways to save it. One is I can just click the folder, which is the save icon. And, or the, the other is I can choose the drop down from the flower and choose save or save as. So I'm going to choose save. And I'll name this, I think it's an antelope. and choose save. Well, I hope this is informative for you. I'll be recording some other videos as I learn more, but this should give you an idea of some of the things that you can do with the software. Thank you.